So today is uh, day three without power. We're running on two generators, but I don't have enough power to turn on the power head, the wave maker. So this wave maker is off. And as you can see, the Rado is standing again vertically. Ever since I installed the wave maker, it went to swimming horizontally just fine. So that proves that Dorado has an acute need for dissolved oxygen. Right now there's only these two pumps are bringing in the oxygen, the oxygenated water and air mix. And Dorado has been doing this uh, head, uh, tail standing. For a couple of days now, even though it feeds. I mean, yesterday it fed fine, but obviously, this is the proof. Some of you may remember, I was wondering why was it doing it before I installed this uh, quadruple 50 watt uh, power head. People were thinking along with me, couldn't come up with kind of consensus. But when I installed it, little by little, the Dorado went to swimming horizontally as it should and now that we lost power and haven't had the power head on for three days you can see Dorado going back to the vertical stance well everybody else is, seems fine everybody else swims around and enjoys themselves I think that proves it pretty obviously that the need for dissolved oxygen is higher for Dorado catfish than for others at least in this tank where's a very diverse tank a bunch of other fish in here and they don't show any signs of distress or insufficient oxygen Louis growing back his tail that uh, the young jello torn off well that's my spiel about the dorado and the need for oxygen